Hey everybody, this is Mike LaPon from Symphony X and Mike LaPon Silent Assassins, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is a Rock and Metal News album review of the new Sepultura. The album is called Machine Messiah, and it is now out. And get ready for one of the most creative Sepultura albums yet. Uh, I think uh, this is uh, my favorite album. I'm going to go out on the limb and say this is uh, my favorite Sepultura album uh, that uh, Derek Green has sang on. Um, this uh, album has uh, just a lot of uh, interesting um, parts in it that uh, make the album just very interesting to listen to. As far as I'm concerned, they have uh, a lot. They have some spoken word kind of. Uh, parts on it they have some clean vocals on it um, there is uh, some flamenco guitar some really cool uh, you know upfront bass licks and uh, they just have they have some violin in phantom self and uh, just overall I just thought this was a very interesting album to listen to the uh, it starts off with this song, song called machine Messiah which opens up with some electric guitar picking and some clean vocals uh, no screams at the the beginning but they just the guitar riff uh, just really nice tasteful uh, guitar uh, by kisser on this one very mid-tempo song and very well um, kind of licks very well thought out guitar licks over top um, green does raise his vocals halfway through the track to some screams and he states bow down to machine messiah and this really sets the tone for the album and it's to me uh, I don't know if they've done this as a concept album but it uh, the songs that you as you go through it and read uh, you know go th follow the lyrics it does seem like a concept to me second song I am the enemy two minutes and 30 uh, seconds of fury as they sing about the culture of fear this track is fast and furious quick guitar riffs and nice shredding the song uh, states reunite with yourself reconnect with yourself um, I love the riff changes in this track and the solos just a really nice fast song and number three, one of my favorite songs off the album is Phantom Self. Uh, this has some Brazilian rhythms and some violins mixed with guitar harmonies to open up the track. Uh, there's some great drum fills in this uh, track. The vocal phrasing is very interesting. Uh, heavy headbang and riffs in this one. And there's a part uh, near the end where they bring the violins back in uh, with the guitar. And it's just um, just amazing part of the song i think this is one of the highlights of the album and it's got uh, actually a very melodic chorus to this you know sometimes uh, sepultura the you know the past albums they don't add there was i think a lot of uh, more harmony and uh, uh, more melody in this uh, with some of the the choruses and and uh, lyrics in this track in this album uh, song number four, Aletheia. Uh, love the drumming and beats on this track. It reminds me of some old school Opeth. Uh, check out the beginning riffs of this song and see if it reminds you of some old uh, Opeth. Um, love the phrasing in it. Very, very good. And number five uh, is a an instrumental. The song is called Iceberg Dances. Uh, the guitar riffs and drumming in this are spectacular. Uh, almost five minutes of just very in interesting instrumental. Some instrumentals can be boring. This has got twists and turns all over it. Uh, keep any metalhead happy with this one. It's so interesting and it changes just many times as it flows. So it flows really well, but it's always changing. They have some acoustic or flamenco guitar in this one as well with some great guitar solos. Uh, a track, another track I'd like to talk about is number six, Resistant um, para Parasites. Uh, the heavy pounding bass on this one is just crushing drums, uh, Sepultura at its best, and the song Cyber God. It is just uh, spectacular. There's spoken word at the beginning, uh, just really heavy, crunchy riffs. Love the guitar tone in this uh, album. Uh, heaviness on guitar harmonies. Um, it's got a really evil guitar riff in this one. And uh, it, it, there's parts in this uh, that almost remind me of almost like, like a Faith No More type of uh, a vocal style. And then there's uh, screams and uh, screams and everything in this track. Just love it. So I really like this album. I think it was, um, you know, a really, 
you know, it's been four years since they put out their last album. And uh, this, I think, was well worth the wait. I just uh, really think that they put a lot of thought into this. Uh, the song arrangements are very interesting. They've added just some great parts in these songs to make it interesting. Uh, I mean, their last album was put out in 2013. Uh, the mediator between head and hands must be the heart. And I think this just crushes it. I This is my, uh, I'm going to say my favorite uh, Sepultura album with uh, with Derek Green singing on it. So uh, I would like to know what you guys think of this one. Let me know. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.